So since we are doing a cherry cheesecake, I decided to go with a very delicate pink theme. Um, and I'm going to use this backdrop from Woodville Workshop. It's called Yara, and it's just a very nice, like, pale pink. So that's gonna go on the bottom. Use this white uh, trifle poster from the Dollar Tree <laughs> to have as a little reflector. Let's pick some backdrops and build our seed props. Pretty basic for the cheesecake being made. I'm just going to use this pink um, linen and some tool here. And then I have these cherry blossom branches and a little branches here. cheesecakes I use a normal cake pan but because I want a thicker cheesecake I'm going to use my springform pan it's a little bit deeper than my cake pans that I currently have a couple little tips for you guys if you're going to use a springform pan and you want to get your cheesecake out easier as you can see on this pan there's some ridges so it's kind of hard to get your cheesecake out without destroying it once your cheesecake completely cools let it sit in the fridge for about four hours and then pop off the spring form part and put your cheesecake into the freezer for four hours better overnight and then you'll be able to just flip it out of the pan Another option if you're using the spring form pan is to flip your cake pan part upside down and put it at the bottom. Your pan upside down, open the spring form, place it on top, close it up, and then it'll be way easier to slide it off. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.